Hey everyone, Robbie Straczynski here for PokerUpdate.com. I'm here to bring you the monthly roundup for October 2015. Here's a look at some of the top poker updates that we've recently published. If you've been following poker for any length of time, you've probably heard of Lingo Martin. The World Poker Tour anchor is an avid globetrotter, having covered practically every top poker event over the last few years. Our own Lee Davy caught up with Lynn, who was kind enough to agree to an interview. She talks about balancing life and poker, her mantra of life is good, and much more. You won't want to miss it. Before you even start playing online poker, you need to choose a screen name. Believe it or not, there's a good bit of strategy that can go into selecting the right one. James Gwill guides you through that and discusses the importance of your avatar and what sort of image you want to portray at the online felt. No misclicks, please. Check this one out. Pennsylvania, home to about 13 million people, many of whom are itching to play legal online poker but can't yet do so. We reached out to Judah Rosenstein, the new Pennsylvania State Director for the Poker Players Alliance, to get his take on the legislative progress in the Keystone State. Whether you're from Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, or even Amish country out by Lancaster, we're sure you're going to want to read this interview. There's just a few days left until the 2015 World Series of Poker November 9 resumes. One player in prime position to take down poker's most prestigious title is Pierre Neville. As he's a spry 72 years young, a Newville victory would certainly raise eyebrows and garner worldwide attention. Jennifer Newell penned a great op-ed that examines why a Newville victory would be great for poker. Have a look. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time to name the PokerUpdate.com Baller of the Month. Can I get a drum roll, please? It's Jason Somerville. The king of online poker streaming amassed tons of baller points in October while running the highly successful Run It Up Live tournament series at the Peppermill Poker Room in Reno. Let's take a look. Before any of the poker playing began, Somerville kicked the festivities off with an awesome welcome party. Five points, bam. Away from the masses, poker's favorite dirty basement kid upgraded to a one-of-a-kind safari-themed hotel room with exotic wild animals adorning everything from the in-room pool table to the elevated jacuzzi. Ten points. Over the five-day Run It Up series, hundreds upon hundreds of players turned up to play in 17 poker tournaments, including satellites. That's another 17 points. Somerville's Legionnaires also had a blast taking part in three poker seminars, multiple UFC morning workouts, a survivor viewing party hosted by former champs Tyson Apostle and Boston Rob Mariano, and even a scavenger hunt. 25 more points, plus we'll throw in a turkey burger for Mr. Jay Carvin. Further illustrating that Somerville truly peaked in October, he even went on to win his own 6 Max 5 card PLO Turbo Tournament to take home the gold trophy, 10 points. Finally, and this will truly warm your heart, Somerville received quite the pork chop from one of his fans in the form of a personalized Costco name tag, 5 bonus points. With an astounding 72 points and a turkey burger, Jason Somerville was anything but withered and is most deserving of October's Poker Update Baller of the Month title. Peace! We'll see which star poker player will live it up next month and be our next PokerUpdate.com Baller of the Month. For more great poker articles and the best online poker room bonus offers, head on over to the PokerUpdate.com homepage right now.